All right. This is an early morning edition of The Running Journey. I'm Rob. This is my brother, Charlie. It's just past 4 a.m. Winnipeg time, local time. We are up and at him bright and early this morning watching our boy, Tyler Mislachuk, competing in the Olympics. The race was supposed to be yesterday, but uh, it got moved because of the fecal matter and the contamination matter and the E. coli in the Seine River. So they're racing today, July 31st. Uh, just started right after 3.45 a.m. Charlie, did you watch any of it this morning? You've been watching a little bit? No, I I, I haven't yet, but uh, I'm looking at the cycling right now, and, and uh, Dude, some guys are giving so it a good. push here. Some guys are giving yeah, it a push. So, Looks like there's one Canadian in the pack. I don't know, or not, maybe not. No, I don't so, know. so there's, there's two packs that have formed. Yeah. There's the lead pack that has 19 cyclists. I, I knew so little about cycling, but watching cycling is a different beast. So there's a lead pack with 19 riders. They were yeah. as far as 40 seconds behind after lap one. They do seven laps of this bike course or six or seven laps of this bike course. And then Tyler Mislachuk and Paquette are in the second, the, the chase group. And there's okay. another uh, 15 or 20 of those guys there. They are now about 24 seconds behind. Oh, and, um, so they might catch him. That, that's kind of what the analysts are saying. They might catch him, but uh, it's, it's I don't know, funny or odd, or I don't know how that chase group started, but Tyler at the swim was uh, something like he was 23rd or something. Like he would have been just, just, just behind the start of that, that uh, bike. So basically you want to be in that lead pack, obviously, because if you're in that lead pack, you can just expend way less energy, right? And just cycle. Cycle. Yeah, crazy. yeah. So so I've been thinking about this if if I was in a triathlon that had these uh if you ever make drafting, the Olympics drafting allowed. No, I think so when you do your worlds, <laughs> it can be like this, right? Um uh, not that it matters, but it just cure out of curiosity, right? Like uh, I feel like this cycling kind of gets diminished significantly, but uh, it's all about running and swimming. But um, it looks like there's four or five. If I'd be one of the strong cyclists, I would want to push the pace here a little bit. Uh, See, that's so how like oh, they're catching about, up. Look at that. They're catching looks up. Like, so that's the lead looks like there's about the four. Yeah, so it, it could be that there's a couple of really strong cyclists in that second group. There are. There not, are for not a, a Not there. a not as good uh swimmers so so like there might be two or three good ones and then the other 13 are just like there for the ride <laughs> but uh okay so i'll tell you about i'll tell you about this guy uh blumenfeld you remember this name blumenfeld yeah i know Blu uh, blumenfeld uh, he's like yeah he's famous yeah he, he won the iron man uh world championships he won the iron man he's been hired by a cyclist team to like be on the tour de france or whatever next year and oh really for what for, at, for like what's he been hired for to cycle you mean to cycle to cycle oh okay i get it yeah and he's good here, christian blumenfeld yeah and here he is uh he's in the chase oh yeah they're catching up they're like they're like uh the front group is kind of you look they kind of stop pedaling hard here you can okay, tell. but sometimes they're not showing the front group right sometimes this is the chase group that they're showing oh but you're seeing both at the same time here this chase group is within reach is what you're seeing i feel yeah they, they they're cut they've cut into that lead a ton we're gonna see it here i don't know how tight you are i'm seeing like uh the ninth tenth eleventh twelfth i don't know who's on delay or if it's me or not but yeah, there yeah. were 19 in that initial chase group Looks like they're still. Yeah. Oh, 19. Paquez, Paquez there, twenty-four. And oh, Blumen felt there, there. Are they're all there? Yeah, yeah, they're caught up. That's what they're that's what I was saying. Like they're not quite caught oh. up, but they, but some. I guess the thing is, there's, there's a bit of separation in that second group though, because the top three guys look like they want to push harder. Uh, okay, but Mr. this Chuck is, is my not my seconds behind. Not, my racing is all from Zwift, so here we go. But. Uh, so, but Mislachek is only nine seconds behind now. So, in the last yeah. lap, group, he's in the lead group now. So, it's all going to come down to the run. Yeah, I'm just trying to explain what's happened, if that's all right. So, he yeah, was yeah, sorry. 39 seconds behind. So, he, in the swim, he was 39 seconds behind. 
and then yeah. uh, he was in he was in twentieth at the end of the swim. Sorry, twentieth. So he would have been like the only guy that didn't make yeah. the lead pack because there was nineteen in that lead pack. Yeah, he was the, so, the first and then guy they were not about in the lead 40 pack. Seconds did yeah, you watch the cycling? He could. Behind. It's possible he got dropped too from that lead pack, right? I watched all of it. I watched the whole race. Oh, so he didn't get dropped from the lead it. pack. They weren't sh- like it, you couldn't really know what was happening because they were it, the coverage. You know how the coverage is for the Olympics. They get one feed, right? And it's whatever yeah, yeah, feed yeah. you get, you get. Yeah. So Canada can't just focus on these yeah, guys. Yeah, you don't but, get. You don't see them to see what hap- what's happening, right? So. Yeah, but he was 20th and he was 39 seconds. And then when I saw the first uh, interval at the bike, he was 40 yeah. seconds behind and he was in the chase group with 13 other, 15 other cyclists. So, so one of the things know. we, one of the things we do when we watch sports is we have to decide who we ch- we're cheering for, right? Um, so we're obviously cheering for uh, Tyler, and then second Paquet from Canada. Yeah. Is there anybody else that you kind of have uh, kind of wanted to cheer for now that you've watched a little bit here? Well, I, I kind of like this Blumenfeld guy, and I like that they're chirping. The announcers were chirping him because they're like, I really don't understand why he would go do Ironman in an Olympic year. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been- I love that. I, I heard him criticized for that, too, in other things, yeah. like in, in podcasts I, He should have been stuff. focusing. He should have been. So yeah, I kind of am like cheering us. for him because he just he just did it, right? Yeah, he just went out and did it. He's like, I feel like his coach would have probably been like, oh, come on, man. Do you really need to do this Ironman? And it's kind of like, we're obviously, we're not Olympi- Olympians, but it's kind of like Patrick saying, okay, Rob, do you really need to go do this 100K? Like, you got Chicago coming up. You got, really need to. And it's like, I just want to do it. He probably just loves the sport so much, right? He just wanted to go and win the world championships. Yeah, I, I don't know about that, but could be uh or or maybe he talked to his coach and they were like let's do this amazing thing where we do iron man and olympics in the same year i wonder they said it's on un, completely unprecedented like nobody's ever done that uh, yeah, yeah i wonder well, what I, it would compare I, to. they're like two completely different sports right like he but at blumenfeld's already yeah, won I, the I olympics know. right yeah so he won olympics, the olympics won many and then he went back to Iron Man, and then he look at this back. pack. Look at this pack. Like this is a yeah. So this pack. is where it's like it's such a disadvantage to be a good cyclist in this situation. Right, I would you, find. Like, if someone's in Unle- the back unless unless you're pack. like unless you're four of the five guys, four or five unless you decide okay we're gonna go hard us four guys. Okay, so the white is so Tyler I understand in this pack. Is yeah, Tyler he's in the middle. He's at, he's at the, he's saving his energy. He's doing awesome. Right like there. he's staying at Mr. the back. Chuck, right there. Oh, yeah, right and, on, buddy. And he's a really good runner, so you never know, yes. right? Like, yeah, but he would have had to have wasted some energy, Charlie, to get not to if he just followed. Voice. Not if he just followed Blumenfeld the whole <laughs> the whole way. <laughs> oh, and they were talking about that. They were talking about how lucky the chase back is to have Blumenfeld in there with him. Yeah, yeah, they were saying yeah, that, yeah, exactly. These guys, I, I think it's just... probably it probably doesn't bode well for Blumenfeld because he probably wasted he's probably a really strong cyclist and he probably well for him it might have been not hard but um well i mean when you're doing an olympic triathlon it's hard um but i I would imagine it's hard yeah yeah they're going hard uh it's like your ftp you're going at your ftp probably pretty close anyway so blumenfeld um probably wasted a lot more energy than a lot of the other guys in that pack even though he's probably a way stronger cyclist too right so Okay, but the other thing, Charlie, I've been watching, and they communicate a ton on the bike, and they would do signs for switching, and like the guys would. Yeah, yeah, you like, got to do that. You have to do that. Yeah, or else that's the whole that to save the energy. And the other thing I need to mention, but is, now there's like you just don't want to be in the front. I would imagine with this bike leg almost done. Like I don't know how much. I guess it's 56 minutes in. The swim was what 20 minutes. The swim was. Uh, yeah, more than 20 minutes. 26 minutes. Uh, sorry, 20 minutes. Kinda, yeah, yeah, 20 minutes. They had to dodge a, little, a lot of the excrement and stuff, I guess. Up, oh, there there was an upstream portion to it, wasn't it? You should have seen. 
Yeah. Okay. So for the swim, I need to share this, the down downstream for the first. And again, a reminder, I was here a year ago and they were doing this test race a year ago. And I walked, there was nobody that the, the crowd wasn't like it is now, but I was, and I watched, I randomly went out for a jog one morning and saw the triathlon and I watched it and I was on all these spots and I saw all these guys running. Anyways, the swim, it's two laps, 900 meters for the first lap, 600 for the second. And you, you do a down current and then you come back against the current and there's a spot around a, a pile, not a pile on a, a beam in the water where yeah. the guys were like, like they're swimming as hard as they can. And they were barely moving. Like there's a spot where they, cause the current was yeah, so yeah. strong in one spot. And these yeah. guys, these are the best swimmers. That's some true. of the best swimmers in yeah, the world. Yeah. yeah. There's no way and, I would do it. <laughs> would just and they were up. taking different angles. Some guys, some guys were oh yeah the, the angles the angles yeah that makes that's smart yeah, doing the, the the sailing methodology yeah and so have you ever watched the, the have you ever size. watched those sailing races no well yes but not not like i'm they watching go, triathlon this today there you go so fast so um i was watching the cycling a little bit when you were talking and they were bar- barely pedaling for a while there uh now it looks like it's, one guy's one guy's pushing, but like they're not pedaling very hard. Looks like to me right now. They're they're six. They're five laps are complete out of a seven lap course, and we're about to see yeah. Miss Lechuk four seconds behind in the lead pack. Four seconds is is irrelevant when it comes to the well, yeah, not yeah, irrelevant, yeah. but yeah. So you can kind of tell is, the guy the guy at the front is pedaling a little hard, but everyone at the back is like. Doesn't there's a whole like bunch of guys that are not peddling. Yeah. I mean, they're peddling, but it doesn't just... look. Yeah, this blue guy, Remember, he's Charlie. wasting a lot of energy here. Yeah, now the guy at the front's Remember? like, I'm not. He's, he's like barely peddling. I'm like, oh, I'm not going to waste but Charlie, energy remember, here. they're on they're on cobblestone here. They're on cobblestone. They're on. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're used labs. To So, no, no, no. But I'm just trying to say there's a lot of turnaround spots. So oh I see yeah it's six laps so that means they're slowing down every time there's a hairpin turn right so, so they they can't go max effort in those hairpins so they gotta let up a bit so they have an op- they should have an opportunity to go harder when they're not none of them the are pedaling right? oh it's a, it's a it's a one eighty that's why okay right here there's a hairpin here coming up yeah yeah but they complete oh one guy went out. Just this uh, that this blue guy just wants to pick up the pace, but nobody wants to go with him. Oh, he's gone. Really... He's gone. It, yeah, but early. there's it's no really point cool. doing like. There's two laps yeah, still, so there's these still two another... red guys are wanting to push. I don't know why. I feel like just stay at the back, talking... save your energy. They're talking to each other. Like, are we going? Are we going? Uh, the last thing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He... Yeah, he's trying to go, but I mean, it's like too late now. You're gonna gain maybe 10, 20 seconds at the most. Like, so about the swim, the guys were taking the 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 t- um, some guys were taking the tight inside lane around the buoy, but most people were staying on the shore because the current. Oh, is I not see. Because so there's right, less right, right current. Shore. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I, I, yeah. So for my cheater swim. My pl- I'm gonna I'm have just to trying to right finish there. my point, Charlie. I'm just trying to finish my point. I've been trying for five minutes to make this point about swimming. Okay, so what? Okay, okay, okay. Do... So they reduce reduce the current by swimming on the shore. Okay, what's yeah? Reduce the current by swimming on the shore, and then but way longer, way longer, because they'd have to go wider yeah, yeah. and then on the shore and then come back. But those guys that did it ended up ahead of the guys that cut through. So yeah, yeah and for plus sure. they were drafting, that makes, right? That makes sense. Like the amount of effort. There's a lot of 180s in this and, course or 90s. Yeah. Yeah. So I wonder like if Tyler and those guys, like I wonder how much energy Tyler is going to have done a bike that is 40 seconds faster than everyone in the lead group. Right. Because he was in the chase group. So how much of that and are they separated? Here? More? We're about an hour in, by the way, to this race, this leaders usually take an hour 40. The winners usually take about an hour for you. There's Paquet. There's yeah, a, they're a, all in the group. Mini that, lead pack yeah. that form. Is there a group that's separate? But there's this, this. No, I think it's just those two, Charlie. There's, there's kind of yeah, two. Yeah, no, they're barely the peddling. Now they're barely peddling again. Yeah. 
No, it's one group. But just to put set up the race here for the the listeners that aren't actually seeing this race, the triathlon course is 1.5 kilometers swim. It is 40 kilometers bike, of which is seven laps. So that means something like six kilometers, not quite six kilometers per lap. And they're doing two hairpin turns in that. So they're really just going out three kilometers, turn around three kilometers back. Like this is, it's, it's kind of a, it's not like I think most races would be, but here they are in front of all the major landmarks. And then it's going to be a 10 kilometer sprint. The 10 kilometer sprint is where the race is going to be won today because there's like 40 bikers in the lead pack, right? Yeah. yeah. 10 kilometer sprint. Um, I don't know if I'd call it a sprint. Well, they're going to be going at my sprint sprint pace, but um, but it's an all but out, it's all, all it's all going to sprint. Well, it's as hard as you can run ten k after forty k biking, and yeah, but I still these, I, I would consider I would define sprint as going basically as hard as you can, but anaerobic like you'd be. So I'd say. I mean, it's terminology here, but uh, you really didn't like my word that much that you're going to spend yeah, 20 yeah. seconds I, dissecting take, the take use of the word sprint. Yeah, they're going to go as um, hard as they can. They're going to do a 29 minute 10k, Charlie. Like that's that's yeah, really yeah no, fast. it's ridiculous. I don't understand. It's beyond comprehension for me. Well, look, they're not even pedaling; they're coasting on the bike. Yeah, this is so easy. Oh, they get to, <laughs> well, like go ahead this. of me. Yeah, you go ahead. You go ahead. They're all saying, oh, this guy, you go ahead. You go ahead. And then the other guy goes. The other thing that I saw today, Charlie, is I the, saw. The thing that happens when the. Yeah, go ahead. Unzip the jacket of the other guy while they were biking oh. at 50 kilometers an hour. Yeah, they're pretty it, good like that. It's getting hot. It's getting really, really hot. Yeah, I hope Tyler did his heat training. Oh, he did. Is it he good did, that he, he is it good that he's been three quarters of the way back the whole way? I think so. Uh, it could it could back. mean that he's struggling, but back it could back. also mean that, that he's just decided to like let the other guys work. Is so, it so you you cycle a lot in, in these fake Zwift worlds? Uh, yeah, this yeah. pack is forming over the course of let's call it 20 meters, 30 meters. So there's about yeah. 30 bikes in the over the course of 30 meters. Obviously, if you're at the front, you're doing 100% of the energy. And if you're kind of second, it's what is it? Yeah. Is there a huge difference being second or being like 30th in this pack? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Not, not huge, but there is a difference. Like, according to Zwift. Like, so it'll be like, basically, if you're the third guy, it's like half the watts <laughs> compared to the second guy might be like 75%. It, so okay, two, there's, two guys there, making a move. Here? Is there is there two guys what? making a move? Two guys are making a move. Yeah, two guys are making a move. This is yeah, but they're six, gonna so. get caught. They're gonna get caught, right? So, uh, like this is kind of just wasting energy, I would say. There's no way two guys can the run other away guys from twenty six guys. I've seen it happen in the Tour de France. One guy, yeah, to the parents is well, they're yeah, it, it can happen. I've seen it happen, yeah, but it's pretty amazing when it does happen. So, uh, I got a commercial on right now. Um, do, do you want to talk I about don't. any? Okay, oh, go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna ask about any of your races coming up or your office half marathon or anything while we're. Yeah, the office half marathon was cool. Well, you were there. So yeah, it I guess was amazing. You're a few yeah. seconds ahead of me. You're a few high seconds ahead of me. I'm still watching. But uh Paquette was two seconds behind and, and Miss Lechuk here is in the lead pack still. Tyler, our boy, still in the lead pack. Yeah. Uh, how far and back? And you said it's se seconds. seven seven laps, right? Seven laps. They're in they're they're entering the mm -hmm. last um they're going to be entering the last lap. That lead pack is 32 cyclists. And yes, we had our indoor office half marathon on the weekend, sold out race. We sold 20 entries, 16 of which actually showed up, four people no showed. We ran 176 laps around the office. I can't believe how successful it was in that there were no injuries. 
there were no issues, nobody complained, nobody bitched or anything. Like everyone was just such in such a good mood. It was just way. It was different a very po- it was race. a very positive positive group. Uh, I was counting the laps. Well, I was just cheering people. Really, I wasn't doing much. But I'd say uh, you was, were you were deeply involved in the volunteering aspect of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was but, just uh, cool. It was so cool to see everyone. Everyone's in a good mood because there's a lot of passing, right? On a hundred and yeah, you know, someone yeah. just almost wiped out 176 laps, and yeah. there's a lot of passing. So that means you're you're next to people all the time. Now you're not running next to someone because there every single lap there was roughly a, a 20 meter shoot that I called where you had to go through a doorway around an office desk and through another doorway, and that was an area where you could not be too wide because it was it was just you could only fit one person through the 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 shoulders but we ended up so you're not running next to someone like if you and i run a half marathon together we run shoulder to shoulder but during this half marathon you couldn't run shoulder to shoulder so (coughs) one in front of another but yeah yeah, we had two personal bests two individuals ended up doing personal best one person did their first ever half marathon (laughs) in my office (laughs) yeah Yeah, it was awesome and then in Another lady did a personal best as well. It was her second half marathon. So yeah, big, big, uh, big success. I would say for the first time I've ever done this, I won't be able to ever do it again because we lose that space at the end of next week. So it was probably the one and only time I'll ever be able to do it, but I thought it was fun. And uh, I ran a 143, I think something like that. I wanted to run a 140, but it was so hard to run it like fast because of, yeah, yeah. it was hard. Are you back from commercial? Yeah, yeah. So this is favoring this is favoring the runners now, like the strong runners. Uh, but Tyler's a strong runner. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think the Great Britons have a couple. Uh, the British uh, Derek E, I think, is a really strong runner. Um, but this, yeah. So it looks like they're not like the the Austrians. I what I'm seeing is the Austrians try trying to push the pace on the bike, but no one wants to follow them. Um, but I think there's like this is really not hard for the guys at the back right now. They're just conserving their energy for the run. Um, Tyler's at the absolute back of the lead pack. He's kind of right, right, right in 28th, 29th place in that lead pack, huge pack yeah. that's formed. They're on the last lap. So they're going to get off this last lap here in a five or so minutes. And they're going to have to like basically jog at 10K as fast as they can. And the question is, how much did Tyler lose by – he must have been part of the chase pack. And at some level, he had to expend a few more watts than the lead group for sure, right? Yeah. So like how it much – It looks like he, now there's another – looks like there's another chase group catching them potentially. Yeah. These are the, uh, the, 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 you know, because what, through. yeah, what happens is if when you, when you kind of get to be, I would imagine running this race, if you got a big group and no one's wanting to push at the front, it's very easy for the, for the groups behind to catch, right? Cause they have something to, they have a reason to push, right? Yeah. That's why you need to. Okay. So they, they explain this concept. Have you ever heard of the concept of the domestique? Yeah, 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 yeah. The domestic. So, so Mathieu van der Poel was the world champion, and he was a domestique at the Tour de France. Uh, so y- you've seen the you've seen the guys. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. Go ahead, explain it. So yeah, I, I know how domestiques works for like the Tour de France, where they they all they have to do is kind of they lead the pack and they just they they blaze a path they blaze a path for their, their best cyclist so that he doesn't have to cut the wind. So we go, they go into the front and their job is strictly to lead and to cut the wind. But I did not know that that was a thing in triathlon. So these strong teams, some of these strong teams, they'll have a domestique for triathlon. So they were explaining that France, yeah, they were explaining that France has a a domestique where uh, the French team is strong apparently. And one of their guys has just been brought on to make absolutely sure that he's in front of the French guy. And what happened is he got stuck in the second pack, the domestique, because he didn't have that good of a swim, I guess. So he couldn't even he couldn't even do it. So yeah. what happened is he was leading the second pack, and one of the analysts, I think it was Simon Schufelt, who's a medalist, I think is one of the analysts on yeah, CBC. Yeah, he won the gold medal is, for Canada. 
Yeah, he was saying how I'd be careful if I were you guys in the second pack because I believe that Domestique is soft pedaling and faking like the effort, faking soft pedaling and not actually leading the pack. So like someone's got to go because the Domestique, his job is to make sure that his teammate wins. So he was kind of accusing the French oh, yeah. Domestique in the chase pack of not giving a max effort just so that the chase pack could not wouldn't catch up to the lead pack yeah yeah so he was at the front but like only giving 75 percent or something soft pedaling he called it soft yeah, yeah i wrote yeah. it down in my yeah. notes yeah, yeah i took a whole bunch of notes here yeah soft pedaling is what you do when you're going below ftp i don't know or very much lower okay oh some guys FTP are clipping the shoes is- some guys are clipping the shoes. F- FTP, you should explain that for our, 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 uh, our viewers that don't know what that is. Um, you think we have viewers that don't know FTP? Okay. Um, dude, dude, I, I barely know what FTP is, and I've done four Ironmans. So it's uh, functional. I'm going to chat GPT in here. Functional, functional threshold, threshold power. Pace? Power. Threshold power, I think, is so in there you cycling. Go. I don't know what it means. So it's the amount of watts you can hold for about for an hour. It would be kind of yeah, so one the, definition. It'd oh, be like here we go. Uh, oh, great transitions. Like, oh, you're ahead of me. You're ahead of me in uh, okay, in okay, the, okay. Cause I'm, That's I'm what I was saying. They were bike. they were unclipping the shoes, so I knew they were close to the end. Okay, the vapor flies. They're all in the lead here. pack. They're all there. They're all in the lead pack. Wild, wild, wild like from New Zealand. He's, he's got vapor he's flies. To win, apparently. Okay, it's a running competition. I love it. Transition is critical not here. Hustling. Hauser's also a, a favorite. So is this will Tyler? be like critical. He... Oh yeah, Tyler's I'm in the group, but he's got to push. Some guys are pushing here. Dickinson. Do you see him? Do you see Tyler? Like, where is he roughly? He looks like he's about 20th. Okay. Go, no, Tyler. Even... Come on, buddy. Yeah, he's there. I think he's there, right? Like, in a group. Right behind the the the, the, the German guy. Oh, there he head. is. Yeah. So yeah, he's like right in there. 20th. Yo, I see him. He doesn't have a hat. He's just going to go hard. No hat. Um. So, Paquet's got the, the headband happening. Yeah, yeah. He, oh, Paquette so just went and got a big bottle, and then uh, they're grabbing water it, from from. Yeah, I would definitely be grabbing water at this point. Um, but Tyler's right there, top ten looks like to me at this point. Yeah, so Paquette's there, and Tyler's there. So can, can he run? Does he have the energy? He looks like he's running after... decent. He looks like he's running oh. decent, but not as good as the guys at the front. So, um, my God, but going. maybe those guys but, at I mean, the front like, are just. A, Maybe they're just trying to dishearten everyone. And sometimes it takes a minute or two. I imagine even if they're pros to kind of get the full full pace. I don't know. They're running side by each, Tyler and Pacquiao. Tyler's like in 10th, 10th 12th place here. Yeah, yeah, he's up there. Yeah. So. But like five, eight, five seconds behind the leaders? Yeah. He, he, this, isn't like, uh, this isn't like. This isn't like. A lot yeah, of things. Like guys, guys. Alex Yee, yeah, remember I, I called that he would be good? Oh, some guy's bowing out. You see that? Some guy went to the Yeah, park. some guy bailed. Right. I saw he's done. Done like dinner. So that guy's that done. Happens. He can't do it. He cannot follow these guys at three minutes per kilometer pace. If you've ever run a fast finish or any type of tempo in your life. That's my 100 meter speed. That's my 100 meter speed, Rob. What is that? Three minutes per kilometer. What is that? Like five? What is that for a minute? Miles? So, like that. so 180. It's 18 any- seconds. 18 seconds per 100 meters. It's like five five thirty or something per mile. I don't know. It's probably faster. Okay, so Paquet is doing is looking strong. Tyler is in the pack. He's maybe just saving himself. He's trying to push your pace pace. Um he's there. I don't Charlie, he's there, right? He's there. Like we'll see if he's got so yeah, Dickinson the four domestic. minute and fifty second mile. This guy, Dickinson, yeah. one of these guys fell off to the side here. Yeah. Oh no, he's cheering. So four minutes and fifty seconds per mile, Charlie. Yeah. Twelve point uh twelve point five on your treadmill. I my treadmill doesn't go that high. 
my treadmill only goes to 12. This bad boy in the back. I, I, don't, I don't ever run that fast. Maybe well, I've never run that fast. Maybe maybe when I was in good shape and I was doing strides, I would hit that pace. Yeah, for for ten seconds. Yeah, tw yeah, twenty seconds. Uh, these guys are and these guys have already swam in, with like shit in their mouth, and for twenty minutes and and biked. I mean the bike, like critical pace here for the. This is the chase pack. They're showing all the chase guys. Like they're they all have the same transition. Oh, right? the guy's changing. Just... Yeah, so this this Yi guy looks like he's crushing it. This looks like it's game over. Wow, easy, Charlie. It's they're like two kilometers in. It's early still. He's making a move. He's making a move. So can he hold it? What kind of shoes does yeah. he have? Looks like he's got some meta speed. No, he's the second ranked triathlete in the world. This Yi guy and Wildy is third, I believe. Yeah. And this is, and apparently he's a good runner, so it really favors the way this race played out. It really favors the strong runners, right? So, yeah. So the Spanish guy looks like he's trying to do go, but he looks like he's not. Yeah. This Yi guy looks like runners. he's fresh, fresh, fresh. Um, the pack is still New there. Zeal it's still that far behind. Yeah, yeah. We've seen, we've the seen New Zealand Boston guy Marathon looks like, like he's like... catching him. Looks like he's catching him, the New Zealand guy. No, I think I think it's still early. The penalty box. <laughs> There's the penalty yeah, box. Yeah. It's crazy. I was at this course, man. I'm seeing all these guys run exactly where I, I went for my jog that morning. I, I, I went three days in a row because they had the women's, the men's, and the para. The para, when I was there, Charlie, got canceled. Because the water conditions. Yeah. So they oh, ended up doing a then, duathlon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Wild caught up to him. Yeah, I see that. Now it's going to be interesting, the dynamics of who's going to push who. Could you imagine? God, you imagine. To, this, this was in the Olympic potential to actually do. A, if they had to cancel it three times, they were doing a duathlon at the Olympics. That's yeah, real. Yeah. That's real. Yeah, they were gonna do a duathlon at the Olympics if they couldn't. I, I was just thinking, like, imagine we hosted the Olympics in Winnipeg, okay? And they're like, "Oh, we've got this beautiful course on the Red River and the bridge, and it's gonna be so beautiful." And and then there's water, and there's the E. coli in the water. Couldn't you just say, "We'll go do it at Birds Hill. We'll go do it in Saint Malo. We'll go do it in Hecla." Like, there's got to be triathlon courses around France. Like, there's got to be a yeah. few triathlon yeah. courses that would be able to host an Olympic venue overnight. You would think, yeah. Okay, Tyler's in there. sixth. He's right behind Blumenfeld. There he is. Look, right. Blumenfeld looks huge. I, think. I didn't Charlie, realize how he's 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 in medal contention behind the medal. Yeah, yeah he's in medal contention. Is, he's right there. He's right there. He looks the good. He looked good pack, running. Back is far ahead, but he looks good, man. Yeah, yeah. Wild and, and Yi look. Too. Wild and Yi look like they just want to dominate this thing. Uh, but um, let him go. Let him go. That's okay. But this Tyler looks. Look, he really looked solid out there running, though. Come on, Tyler. Let's go, buddy. We got this. So, some, do you I know how many part. laps? Do you know how many laps it is? Or uh, I think it's four laps. Is that possible? Seven, eight uh, minutes. Yeah, two, that would make sense. Two, Three laps. Two and a half K yeah. per two and a half K per lap. Yeah, so there that would make sense because if it's four if it's 30 minutes, roughly seven and a half minutes per loop. Yeah, that makes sense. They're so oh, the wow, leaders, they've really they're 10 seconds ahead. But Miss Lechuk's in fifth in fifth, but tied with a bunch of guys. He's right there. But here I would say he's... when you get to the running section, likely if you're at the front of the pack, it means you're doing a little bit better than being at the back of the pack. Oh, As man. opposed to Think swimming. of all the times in, in your races where you've been like trying to follow a, gr a, a group. It, it's way, Yeah. It's not like bike and swimming where you just bide your time. Yeah. But he looks really strong. Like crushing uh, water. The, 
Really like the open back oh, zipper situation for, for Tyler here. Get some air in there. Yeah, he's in solidly solidly in fifth and like with with the guy in third place. Like right, right with him. Yeah. It's and gonna be a, so a might that? might be a sprint to the finish for the for the bronze here. Yeah, the bron the is that Blumenfeld that, that looks like he's he's taking a bit of a lead among the chase yeah, group? He, no, I think Blumenfeld fell back. Well, who's that guy? Sli guy Blumenfeld slightly behind Tyler from what I'm seeing. There's a oh, guy Wild's to take it. Wild is taking it to Yi now at the front. So Yi, Yi is struggling. Surprisingly, Yi looks wow, like this his pace has stopped dramatically, right? Slowed down for sure. But it there's looks a like guy. The group, is, the group is catching up the top two, actually. So it might be a chance for gold. He looks so strong right now. He looks determined. That Romanian. Right. Mislachuk looks face. determined. He's, he's just dra yeah. he's drafting behind the fr the French guy. Le Carré, that guy's a favored, uh, one of the favorites. Yi is like Wild and Yi are Le, Le Bergerier or whatever. He's a uh, number one ranked triathlete in the world. Wild and Yi are, are two and three. Okay. But so there's the, the, the chase group that was a pack. Is now yeah. starting to see cracks, starting to starting to split up, right? And Tyler's right there, man. Tyler's right there. He's in fifth. He's right there. He's in fifth. They're gonna start he's showing him. Right They're there. Start showing him. Oh, right here. He's on the screen with the two French guys. He's drafting the two French guys. Yeah. Uh, Great stride. Great stride. He doesn't. Yeah, yeah. And he's like saving his look. energy. Great tactical race so far by Tyler. I would say. And oh, he is cool. gr is grinding his teeth. I think that means you're done. Yeah, is that from experience? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, just his face tells but me he's, he's not doing so. He's still in second place, yeah, but his face tells me he's struggling. I'm going to lay out the land here. We're an hour, 24 minutes into this race. We're on the second of four loops, so we're around kilometer three or four, something like that. Tyler Mislachek sitting in fifth place. The oh yeah, he's right there. He's he's like in. Sorry, sorry, go ahead. He's he's about twenty meters, thirty meters behind the lead pack, solidly in third place, about a second behind, solidly in fifth place, about a second behind third place. Tyler Mislachuk, our Canadian hero for this show, anyways, uh, is in definite medal contention right now. Definite medal contention. It's exciting. It's exciting to see these guys yeah, running. Yeah, I would, I would be so and, pumped. Yeah, Hayden Wild. There's no catching this guy. He's just but Alex that... Yee. Alex Yee. Alex Yee is, is, is struggling. Is, is struggling. Hayden Wild is decided he's having a good day and he's just giving her. And there's no stopping him. I don't think at this point. He's Hayden he gone wild. Yeah, he can taste that gold medal right now, and he's probably just like, there's no stopping me. Five seconds. Five seconds has opened up before Wild and Yi. Tyler. And we're now no longer eat. He looks good. He's he's following the two French guys. So that they've become a chase pack now. These three, the two French guys. Yeah. So yeah. I think they might, catch, the world. they might catch Yi, but not, don't know. There's about Just, 15 minutes yeah. left in this race. So they're going to be we'll closing the, in on the end of lap two. And the lap yeah. two should be soon. But the thing is, the swim took way Tyler long looks, because of that current. Tyler looks like in the best uh, shape of the three that are oh, chasing. Those three. I would say. And say what you will about uh, drafting and running. And some people, there's a little bit of a benefit to, to it makes a difference. Running. It makes a slight difference. It makes us, it, if it's, a even if it's just psychological. Yeah, so he's drafting right now. He's in fifth place. He's he's astride behind the third place guy. They are a pack that's formed that's chasing the lead pack, and they're a little bit. Well, behind. it's they're not really be... a. Well, I'd say they're about fifteen seconds behind second place. No, I think less than that, maybe ten. And Wild is way out in front. 
Wild is, is there's no stopping him. He's got the open yeah, back he's... zipper, which is critical to have. Yeah, um, no connection at the top. Yeah, those guys didn't bother changing in changing into their. Uh, no, I'm, I'm making a joke. <laughs> yeah, they didn't you're, change their you're, clothes. You were chirping me, chirping me for changing my clothes. I I reviewed my tri my transition. So Simo uh, finished his race on the weekend. And, oh God, uh, what a, he had Calgary a great and, race. Unreal time, and I was messaging him, and he's like, "Ah, oh, you know, I left stuff out there, and I could have done better." I'm like, "Dude, like, you there's did unbelievable. every triathlon that ever happens, you leave stuff out there." <laughs> He yeah, had an amazing even bike ride. That, right? He had an unreal yeah, bike two, ride. What did he do on his bike? Two forty. Two thirty one in the mountains. Two thirty one. He did on his bike. Yeah. Wow, that's really good. And he did sub two on the jog after burning all the yeah. all that energy in the mountains. Yeah, I wish they wouldn't show wild as much because there's no stopping him. We I get mean, it. It's nice. You're way in the front. See, he's gonna win it. the gold. Yeah. Well, so the, only now they're completing lap two. So yeah, okay, two they'll show us the splits. They'll show us the splits now. Yeah, you could see them in the top right corner of the chase group. They're they're kind of yeah. turning onto the bridge now. So they're going to be How? twenty-five seconds uh, behind. Wow, this guy is fast. How can he be? They were they were mentioning how fast else. this guy is. They were saying how fast this guy is and how if he can somehow be in the lead pack, it's it's kind of over because he's that oh, strong of a runner. He's really, really weak okay, on the bike, so, apparently. So, he, yeah, but, so that was definitely to his advantage. Just follow Blumenfeld. So they're only seven seconds behind. They caught up. They were 13 at the at the end of the first lap, and now they're seven seconds behind. So there's a good chance. Behind. So there's a good they chance they will, catch, they will catch Yi. Five kilometers left in this race. They're and, an hour and, and our other Canadian in. Paquet is in 11th. And Blumenfeld, well, Blumenfeld, I feel like just sacrificed himself, uh, likely on you the You didn't bike, even watch it, but you're like, I know what happened. I know what happened. He went well, from what back. you've said, from what you've said, yeah. it sounds like he carried that, that chase group. Yeah, it was tough to tell who was carrying that chase group, but Blumenfeld was for sure among the ones leading that chase group. And they chipped away at 40 seconds. Like forty seconds yeah, yeah. over, over forty kilometers. It's pretty significant. It's pretty significant over forty k. And it was forty. Yeah, yeah. So they. I feel like Tyler is, could go harder right now. Like he is looking good. He is looking good. So Yi Yi looks like he's struggling. That that side lift. Yeah, yeah. Yi is there. coming back to is coming back to the three. I would imagine. Oh, he, there's a there's bit of a, a gap up. now. Tyler, there's a bit of, of a gap for Tyler here. So I don't know if he grabbed water or what, or if he's actually tiring. Yeah, he's falling behind the two French guys now a little bit. Come on, Tyler. Come on, Tyler. 20 seconds of courage, Tyler. Let's go. 20 seconds of courage, buddy. You got this. I mean, either way, whatever he ends up doing. Either, like, it's still, and, and... He's fifth in the Olympics, uh, and but... It looks like he might be falling off. This is the hard part. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the last yeah, five. This days. is this is the hard part. Yeah, think of every race you've ever done, and you're just you're trying to dig deep. You're trying to find that, and sometimes your legs just won't go. They are not yeah, moving yeah. as fast as you'd like them to move. Sometimes you just hate those legs. Oh, how many of these guys um, you think were? Yeah, go ahead. Where alpha flies or vapor flies, or sorry, vapor flies. I don't know. Probably about the same ratio as you would see in a marathon. Um, I don't know what that ratio is, Charlie. Like, yeah, do you know either. what that ratio is? No, I I think it's gone down quite a bit. I think there's other shoes now that are. I think you have to is have it shoes. Like Kobe that One, they used to have. Yeah, exactly. They used like to have hundred percent of the market and. These are the two French guys. They're, they're the French now, guys are going hard now. The French guys are going they're really chasing hard. Now. Yeah. Yeah, they're chasing nine, me. And nine, they're, nine se they're only nine seconds. So they they've actually lost some ground since since the the lap. Weren't they 13 seconds behind? 
No, they were 13 after the first lap. And then they got down to seven after the second lap. Behind Yi, you're talking so, about? Yeah, behind Yi, yeah. Well, Yi and Wild okay. were tied at the, at the end of the first lap. So, uh, Looks like it's going to be a really strong finish for Wild. And potentially, Tyler is going to have fifth place, which would be amazing. But even if he falls a little bit, he might fall, right? Because that, there's another chase back behind him. I, 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 this isn't done though, Charlie. Like, no, no, K, it's far knows? from over. Well, it's two and a half who K, knows? isn't it? Oh, we still got two more laps. It's not just one lap. Two more laps. Two more laps. Yeah. Hauser, this Hauser a lot guy. of things can happen on the last 5K. Yeah, you're right. People could have gone is, out too uh, hard. People could have gone out too hard. Now we don't even see Tyler. Uh, but yeah. the angle might be. The other so, guy that's to be watched is this Hauser guy. This Hauser guy is apparently a very strong runner. Yeah. And we haven't we haven't oh, seen uh Tyler <laughs> Tyler's fallen back, looks like. In another he's, group. He's having like he's up down to eighth or something. But I mean he gave it a shot. But I, I mean guess. if you were if yeah, if you were at the Olympics and you knew that it's it's metal or bust. I don't know about yeah, you, yeah. but I think what I would do is you just go and see how long you can stay with that. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's different than like trying to do a PB for a marathon. It's yeah. You just go till you die and hope for yeah, the metal because the right? burnout that that happens. Yeah, the the burnout is inconsequential. Like if you finish fourth or fifteenth or thirtieth, there's no difference, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, he's, he's, he's still there. He's behind Blumenfeld now. Oh, he's really struggling. Wow. Blumenfeld is a big dude, eh? He's so big. I guess that's why he's better at Iron Man. Holy, look how big he is compared to Tyler. <laughs> he's a big <laughs> like dude. A different... Yeah, okay, I think yeah, Tyler's, Tyler's completely, uh, completely bonked, but good effort. We're we're proud of him. We love you either way, Tyler. We love you either way. He's he's a he's our guy. We got up at I got up at three thirty to watch this guy run, and I loved every minute of this race. And there's about uh, I don't know four k left, probably something like that. Yeah. Have you watched a lot of the Olympics this year? Uh, a little bit, yep. Um, I put really, it on every night. One of every my night favorite games. One of my. Did you watch the Canada? I mean, so so Canada. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. I guess the soccer. Um, the ladies. Dude, don't get watched, me started on. Don't get me started on this soccer thing. Yeah, but did you see their game I, against France? Did Did you see their game against France? My God, it was what a game! Unbelievable! What a game! That's the one of. It, Best games I've ever watched, I think, because France I was, was like, all over him in that first half. All yeah, over. and then but but then Canada was all over him at the end in in the over. It was the classic played the trap, right? They were playing the trap, yeah. and they kept diving and they kept diving, and I was like, the ref's gonna add those minutes on to the end, so stop diving. Like, and sure yeah, enough, yeah, yeah. thirteen minutes of stoppage time. I'm standing on my couch, and like they scored the winner, and I jumped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a great Stop, finish. And they had so the many TV chances before. In anything in a while. They ah, had so many chances before. So many chances. And the goal the goal was a little anticlimactic, I thought, because like they scored and the announcers were kind of like, eh, it puts in the equal. Yeah. And I was like, is that not they a goal? Gone must they outside. should have gone they crazy. Like, like I was I cheering. Was, yeah. They were I mean, cheering like I, I was they cheering. Still need I to, you that. They I was, still need to win, beat Colombia to make it, I think. I yeah, think they if they do, win they, all they three of their games, in. they would make... Imagine making it despite losing six points. Imagine when how I first heard that be. they were being docked six points, I thought like, oh, in the world ranking system or something. Like I didn't think yeah. actually they would dock them six points in the... like Because I thought, well, they're out. Like They, can't, like, they yeah. can qualify, but they, they need to win all their, yeah. their games games and they need help and here they are that's this morning that's today that game is it yeah yeah 
Is it today? Uh, afternoon, I think today in the afternoon. Tyler's in Tyler's in ninth place. In, and Peck has it ten. Two in the top ten for Canada right now is pretty amazing. But what I'm more proud of Tyler is like he went for it. He went, he went for, for it. it. He, yeah, yeah. He's just behind the beast Blumenfeld. I God. bet you anything the announcers. I, I can't are believe how big that guy is. <laughs> Tyler, remember Tyler on the show? He was telling us, uh, "I'm a bit of a smaller guy, so I like uh, what was it eight eight times is or five times is um, how do they measure it? Kilo watts per kilo or something like that? Yeah. yeah. yeah so I've been I've been thinking about this watts per kilo thing. Okay. Let's anyway, hear it. So first, off, most over. The stage. Oh, most overrated stat in triathlon. Okay, set the stage. What is it and why does it matter? So uh, it means your power relative to your weight, right? So watts per kilogram. And the yep. reason it's irrelevant is on a flat surface, it makes – the only thing that matters really is your watts and your CDA, right? Your Your aerodynamics is way more important than your weight, so this watts per kg, that's why Blumenfeld, like Blumenfeld doesn't care that he's 30, 20 kgs more than Tyler if he's putting up, if he's putting down 80 watts more, right? Um, yeah, that's that's my only point. Your speed is, your speed, unless it's a mountain, you're climbing a mountain, your speed doesn't really care about watts per kg. It care about watts okay. and it cares about CDA. Okay, it could you not argue that like doesn't a bigger guy need more watts to move at the same speed? No. Oh, CDA, not on a flat surface. So uh, to accelerate, yes, and to climb a mountain, yes. Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah. But on a flat surface, on a flat once surface, once you've reached, once you've reached your top speed, um. Really, the kgs it, it might make like a like a negligible difference your weight, uh, but your CDA will be much more important, right? Your your drag, which technically, if you're heavier, you likely will have slightly more drag, but it's but you could still have less, right? Got it, got it. These two French guys are battling for third place. Pierre Le yeah. and something less. Something the domestic. Le, Le the domestic. The domestic. I believe this Le Carré is the domestic. Le Carré is the domestic. I'm pretty sure that's what they were saying. So oh. He's still in second. As as much as he's got the side lip going, he's still in second. Le Barré, yeah. Le Bergeret is the the favored for France. He's in third, and then they got Le Carré, who's in fourth. And then there's a looks like there's a group of which Tyler Mislachuk, our Canadian boy, is. A part of they're uh, an hour 40 in they're approaching the finish line here i would imagine there's probably less than four or five minutes left and the soccer thing back to the soccer thing yeah. i'm I, I don't know why i took this story so to heart but like i normally i mean i cheer uh, i cheer for the sports and i cheer for three on three basketball and i cheer but I am really behind this Team Canada right now for soccer. I don't know why. Maybe it's like us against the world type mentality. But I am like, Marge la mal FIFA. We're going to win this. The players didn't know anything about this cheating. Anyways, I don't want to get into the whole cheating thing because Marco today or yesterday at the office, like, Rob, imagine Russia was, you know, found guilty of cheating on the Canadian. You'd be asking them to be banned from the Olympics. You'd be asking. I was like, yeah, maybe. Maybe I would be. But uh, I'm behind Team Canada a million degrees here, and it's going to be a big game against Colombia. If they win that game, watch out. Watch yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. To me, this uh, this losing six points and then still making it is like, I hope they don't get a letdown after they make it because I'm worried right. that that could happen. But it's like, um, I don't know. It's like you have a bad swim in triathlon and you're down. Oh, that's every time I do a triathlon uh, and you're down 10 <laughs> minutes. Um, 
but then you can you recover you just deal with the reality of it right uh which is what they've done which is incredible i really love that team canada that game against oh, france too. they beat the they beat the home team number two oh, ranked in the world it's awesome it was just awesome they kept diving the french girls kept diving and falling and well to... i don't know if they were di- i don't think they were diving i think they were actually injured fine fine that's my perspective and maybe i'm just yeah. angry at the world for for taking six yeah. points out of canada there was a there's a runner there did you see he was being put away they're approaching the finish line here yeah uh any anything else we want to cover um on this episode as the uh, are going to finish here i've uh i've entering like i had another strong uh fun build workout yesterday and i got another one tomorrow i'm starting to get really excited about these these uh these build workouts i'm thinking of going next tuesday no i'm thinking i i've decided i'm gonna go to this steinbach track workout thing do you want to go with me no no we can just you think you can just show up or what you you can show up yeah they're they're in they're in, they're allowed like they they want people to come show up if, and you can come try it out a few times and then if you like it you pay the third time yeah, yeah. no i'm gonna follow my coach's plan um those workouts i can't even do those so shout out to the the people hey you just passed them. wild Oh no way! Right at the finish line, unbelievable. He was just saving himself, or Wild just went out too hard, Side I guess. Lip. Side lip. Side lip. And Benjang is coming and back. Never mind. Wild might get. Wild that might get passed by the other guys. No, he he covered it, but wow, what a finish! Ye, Ye he with the... Good for you, Ye. Good for you, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, Wild and then Fra- France, France, uh, three, four, and then I think it is Portugal, four, five. The guys sprinting oh, Portugal, so fast, they're sprinting, they're so sprinting. fast for fifth place. He's they're got, gone, he's hey. got vapor flies, vapor fly. No, those are not vapor, those are meta speed. So, vapor flies, meta speed, this guy, the old collapse, um, they're all collapsing at the line, yeah, yeah. Oh, god. <laughs> imagine though how hard they must have gone that's crazy uh 143 for the winner on a tough swim course for sure at the time i think it's irrelevant is what tyler told yeah us, oh tyler's right in there the he course. moved up i think he moved up ninth amazing ninth place he beat ninth he beat place Blumenfeld. that's amazing yeah congrats to our boy tyler you, tyler top Less 10 than a minute behind top 10 at the olympics he definitely went out. Good. right behind the beast blumenfeld but what about that finish for Yi? i thought he was done and he ends up so winning too. the gold oh, he's he's laid back in pain against the thing he can't even what he just a, won a gold finish. medal and can't even celebrate because he's in so much pain or maybe he's emotional maybe i think he's, he's crying he's like emotional yeah. yeah wow that's an amazing finish for him though like imagine doing that Tyler's I wonder what happy. his splits were. He definitely had a negative. Definitely had probably negative split, right? I would say there's, probably there's... not negative. I I think they went out really hard to like separate right. themselves from that group, yeah, and yeah. then and then I think Wild pushed it for a while, and then Wild collapsed. Not collapsed like he's like I mean, but on a relative basis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it was a wild finish, some might say. Yeah. Uh, did you see Tyler there shaking everyone's hands? I'm yeah, I saw it's a yeah. tight community, right? Yeah, oh yeah, I would imagine. So 5 30 a.m. What do you got? A jog this morning? You gonna go straight to jog now or are you gonna go back or to I'm bed? Or go what? for a bike. No, no, I'm gonna go for a bike ride right away. This is when your day usually starts, anyways, right? Yeah, yeah. It's about when I wake up usually. So so I have a jog today at 8 15 with, with a buddy who wants to chat with me. So I am kind of in no man's land now. So I'll, oh, uh, I'll uh, you later. know what I'm realizing about this Ironman training? Yeah. Is that I do like the var- variance, but I think I'm happier when I'm just training for a marathon. <laughs> mm. Just run every day. So, it's so much simpler. Life is so much simpler. Overhead? You're talking about overhead. Just running every day. I, I like uh, it. 
but yeah, uh, I love it. I, I, I'm very, very happy. I did all my Ironmans. I'm very happy that I went to the world and I wouldn't trade that experience for anything. And I'm pumped that I did it, but I am happier right now knowing what I have for my build versus what I would have. I think if I had to build for your Ironman, like I, I yeah. like, I know that I'm going to have a lot of tough workouts and I know that it's going to be, but I know that like I just put my shoes and go do it outside or at the office on the treadmill. You know what I've been doing for tough workouts? I do them on the treadmill. I'm the opposite of you. I do them on the treadmill because that way I can control the pace and I don't have to worry, stress out about controlling the pace outside. Yeah. I don't. I, yeah. The reason I wouldn't do that is I know I would just not do them. <laughs> I would just quit. You wouldn't quit, Charlie. Yeah, on a treadmill, yeah, for sure, I would quit. I'm, I, I'm yeah. like oh for my last ten workouts I've tried doing on the t treadmill. Of I like quit halfway okay. through. Okay. Are you maybe? Are you? Uh, are you saying you're you're kind of? I don't want to put words in your mouth, but you're you're not dreading, but not as excited for your upcoming training for your Ironman. No, I'm excited for it. I love it. It's just when I see um, the people that are like training for Chicago and the types of workouts they're doing, that is also, I kind of miss just simplicity of training for a marathon. But at the same time, I know I need both. I need sometimes, if I just train for marathons all the time, I think I would get bored of that. So, um, but. Uh, I'm excited because, so for this, I'm excited because I haven't done a build like the last time I did a build for a marathon, I, I didn't do my Boston one. Like I did the beginning of Boston, but like I, yeah. I wasn't able to do the last month. So was uh, when we ran San Bernardino and that was in 2022, was it? Yeah, I don't know why you call it San Bernardino, but. Um... That's where the city we were in. Okay. We were in yeah. the city of San Bernardino. That's where we stayed and that's where the race occurred. The, the the county of San Bernardino, the city of San Bernardino, L.A. Okay. What do you call it? Big Bear? I don't know. I call it L.A., but yeah. Okay. I guess it's it's uh, in it. What uh, it finished? I don't know. Did it finish even in San Bernardino? I thought it was another city. It, it was finished, like Costa Mesa. It finished in Mesa or something. Portage and Maine. Portage and Maine, San Bernardino. I'm pretty sure. Okay, got it. But I could be wrong. <laughs> I'm like Claude. Yeah. I got the Claude disease. I get a name in my head and I can't get rid of it. Uh, yeah. I'm excited for the build, but I, in a way, I'm also very jealous of what you've done on the, the bike. And I think like, fudge, could I do that? Could I do what Charlie just did? Could I do a two hour and 17 minute bike? Like, I don't know if I could do that. I'm, I'm very jealous of what you've done. So it's pretty, it's, it's, it's pretty freaking phenomenal what you've done and what Simo's done on the bikes. So then I see all you guys training and I think, ah, oh, it'd be fun to do a five hour bike and, yeah yeah well i'm like but 12 weeks away 12 weeks away or something no i've got to be yeah about 12 weeks uh so uh, i'm doing a race this weekend a running race 10 miler uh so i'm happy oh, you're doing so the there's no, one? yeah yeah so there's no bike ride this weekend um and then i probably got about eight weeks of really long bike rides <laughs> Yeah, the Saturdays. The sprint to the finish for 42nd place here. Good job. They want it. They want it. <laughs> All right, so we'll, uh, I guess we'll wrap this up, Charlie. Yeah, we'll wrap it up. One big shout out again to our, our buddy, uh, Tyler Mislachuk. We'll try to get him on the show again to talk about once he settles down and once the season's over. Is the season over for these guys? No, they continue right till September, I think, right? Yeah, I would imagine this would be a peak event for him. Um, yeah. So, but these I guys imagine... race every week, every second week, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what their his program looks like, but I would imagine they would have like penciled this race in the Olympics as uh, an A race, where maybe there's a rest <laughs> period after. Maybe. Uh, but anyways, we're proud of him. We're we're glad that he came on the show. The pride of Oak Bluff, Manitoba, top ten at the Olympics. 
Tyler Mislichuk, congratulations on a great day. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Yeah. Charlie, good yeah. luck with your run this weekend. We'll talk about it some more. And maybe we'll touch more on the uh, the uh, other the, the office half marathon and the other things we got going on now. But thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 4 a.m. we got up to watch Tyler, and I don't, and I loved every minute of it. Thanks, guys. See you in the next video. Okay, two more, two more things, guys, before we wrap this podcast episode up. First off, I want to highlight the fact that Tyler Mislichuk just started live projectile vomiting uh, on TV in front of everyone. The camera caught it. He's puking his guts out, and I, I'm not sure if it's the water or if it's it's probably his effort, Tyler. We're proud of the effort you did. You you literally left it all out there, including. Uh, whatever was in your stomach. So live projectile vomiting. Uh, what a great, great, great effort. We're so proud of you. You hung in there with the absolute best in the world all the way till the buzzer. And uh, second off, I want to introduce this interview. CBC just did an interview live with uh, Tyler and I'm going to introduce it and we're going to play it as part of this podcast. Uh, and then we will wrap this podcast up. Stick around for this interview. Tyler gets emotional and Tyler talks a little bit about what it's like to being a young boy from Oak Bluff, Manitoba. Listen to this. Underdog just qualified to Tokyo being injured. Paris was your time and it was a top 10 result, but you gave everything. What was that experience like? Yeah, I mean, first of all, I just want to thank everyone at home, everyone here, my coaches, everyone. Uh, a lot of people stopped believing in me and few few people kept believing in me so it's uh yeah it's emotional uh for me like it didn't matter if i was fourth or 35th i came to medal and so i went out and ran for third and with those guys as long as i could and as i always say i, I race till the wheels come off and that was all i had so i'm i'm proud of the effort tyler you should be proud and i mean you started in manitoba training at minus 50 you've come all the way to the olympic games what message do you have because you are a legend in the sport for canada to young kids who are watching this inspirational moment i mean the same way simon woodfield inspired me in beijing uh if some kid in Oak Bluff, Manitoba, or Quebec, or BC can take a little bit of uh, inspiration of how I fought out there, then you know, job done. Uh, I would like to like to get it done, but wasn't in the cards. And uh, yeah, I think just to any little kid out there, I'm from Oak Bluff, Manitoba. It's minus 55 in the winter. School closed. Climb through snowbanks to get to school. And, uh, you know, I'm here at the Summer Olympics, the biggest sporting stage in the world. And uh, for those out, here, out there, I started at Manitoba Games. I didn't even get on the podium at Manitoba Games. And, uh, you know, I fight for a medal at the Olympics. So uh, no matter where you are at your level, whether you're, uh, you know, at Manitoba Games and you're off the chart, is don't give up. Keep fighting. And, uh, yeah. You, use use your supporters, but use the people who you know write you off as well as motivation. There's a few videos that I've watched over the last two years of people saying I'm done and you know I'll never be world class again. So thank you to those people, but more of all, thank you to people that support me at home and around the world. I, I'm blessed, really. Tyler, thank you and congratulations on that performance today.